What is up my fellow Andronauts? Might your favorite fruit be just the best thing for your testosterone and sexual function? Let's dive in. In humans, but according to the study, watermelon pump extract increased LH and testosterone in a dose-dependent response. They tested both, both the pulp and the seed. They said they extracted the seed with methanol. So I'm not exactly sure how they did the pulp. Maybe it was just the pulp. Maybe they extracted the pulp with methanol. The reason I'm putting emphasis on this is because the extract matters. And this can determine the results that you're going to get. So as you can see, LH massively increases watermelon consumption, like massively in a dose-dependent response. And the testosterone also like insanely increased with more watermelon consumption. So this might be why testosterone is usually higher in the summer. And if you want to have high levels of testosterone, you better be freaking eating your watermelon. But the kicker was it was Egyptian watermelon. So if you really want to get this boost in testosterone, you're going to have to freaking import yourself some Egyptian watermelon. And then in another study, the flesh of watermelon didn't increase testosterone. So this was control. And then you have watermelon and watermelon. And then they treated these animals with arsenic and then also watermelon. So you can see that LH actually decreased in the low dose of watermelon and then increased in the high dose of watermelon and testosterone basically remained exactly the same but this watermelon was from nigeria so chances are like it could be the difference in watermelon egyptian watermelon is great for increasing testosterone nigerian watermelon is not the same and so this is why it's so important uh, when it comes to herbal supplements like where do you get your supplement from like the the Mukuna Prurians and those kind of stuff, it needs to be from Thailand, for example, or Indonesia, or the Maka coming from the Peruvian mountains, right? It matters where you get your stuff from because they contain the active ingredients that's going to give you the results that you are looking for. Then there was another study, and this was the watermelon seed ethanol extract on allergen testosterone. This is just going to show you that the watermelon seed can also increase it. No one is obviously chewing, hopefully, the watermelon seeds. But if you want to do this, put all the watermelon seeds in a container, blend it up, throw ethanol into it, extract it, and then supplement that, and then you will also get an increase in testosterone. So you can see LH increased, testosterone increased when you supplement watermelon seed ethanol extract. Right? But no one is doing that. Right? You want to have the flesh. It also been shown to massively improve sexual function. This was the ethanol extract of watermelon. I don't know why the hell they would extract watermelon with ethanol because no one is doing that so we have mount frequency increased so it's obviously like higher libido we have the intermission frequency that also increased so the amount of thrusts that we're giving the mount latency decreased the intermission latency decreased like how many times are we having sex and then we have the the post ejaculatory index went down so they were able to have more sex more frequently shorter refractory period so the point is that it enhances sexual function at least in animals and this is the only analysis that i could find when it comes to watermelon not a lot of people have actually extracted the active components from watermelon to see okay what is responsible for this increase in testosterone so what i could find was that it's high in saponins other herbs that's also rich in saponins would be something like tubeless cerecis for example high in flavonoids, maybe like quercetin and so on, panols, steroids, not testosterone, citrulline and a lycopene. So I've done a video on tomatoes and lycopene and testosterone, so be sure to check that out. It might actually increase testosterone, so maybe this is playing a role. Citrulline hasn't been shown to increase testosterone, but it's not impossible that it's playing a role. It's also been shown to improve insulin resistance. The administration of different doses of watermelon juice significantly reduces the fasting blood glucose level serum lipid profile, like cholesterol and so on, a glucose 6-phosphatase, lipid peroxidase, which is a marker of inflammation, anti-inflammatory activities of uh, this drug-induced diabetic rats. So when they give a drug to rats, it makes them diabetic. And when you they supplement like watermelon juice, it actually improves their diabetes. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because a lot of people might be afraid of fruit. It's worsening my insulin sensitivity. Clearly, it's not. All right, so in terms of the citrulline content, because a lot of people's like freaking out, like watermelon is the best when it comes to citrulline, it's going to enhance your blood flow and so on. So let's just talk about that for a moment. 300 milliliters of uh, watermelon juice per day concentrate, uh, which equivalent to 3.4 grams of citrulline per day, has been shown to increase plasma citrulline levels, plasma arginine levels, and plasma nitrate levels. 
but if you look at the nitrate levels you can see about four people here didn't really get an increase and then three people did get an increase so it's like a varied response not everyone is going to get an increase in nitrates from watermelon so not everyone is going to experience that improvement in blood flow from watermelon so the skeletal muscle oxygenation index during moderate intense exercise was greater in the watermelon juice condition than the placebo and control conditions but it did not improve time to exhaustion during severe intensity exercise so it improved the oxygenation index but it doesn't improve your exercise performance so it, it, it might make you feel better more pumped those kind of stuff but it's not going to actually improve your exercise performance now let's talk about how much citrulline is really in watermelon so the one that i just mentioned contains 3.4 grams in 300 milliliters of watermelon juice concentrate that's the emphasis here another study i found 1.17 grams in 500 milliliters of watermelon juice and another study found one gram of citrulline in 700 milligrams of watermelon juice so if you want to enhance exercise performance you need closer to six to nine grams so it would be much better to take the citrulline with watermelon because watermelon contains antioxidants and combining a nitric oxide stimulating compound with an antioxidant will result in much higher levels of nitric oxide so if you want to use watermelon with citrulline that might give you much better pumps than just relying on one or the other one now, I also want to point out the difference between citrulline and citrulline malate. So citrulline primarily helps with synthesis of nitric oxide, but the citrulline malate contains this malic acid component to it. And it's part of the Krebs cycle. So this is the Krebs cycle that's involved in energy production. It donates, it strips hydrogens and electrons from food and donates it to vitamin B3 and vitamin B2 in the forms of NAD and FAD that then donates those electrons to the electron transfer chain to produce energy. So the point is like this whole process is producing energy. So if you supplement citrulline malate, that malate will be used in the electron transfer chain to produce energy, which is good. And so citrulline malate is actually better for enhancing exercise performance than citrulline alone. And this is because you're enhancing your energy production. So you want to use citrulline malate with your watermelon. So are you going to get an increase in testosterone from watermelon consumption? I'm not sure. It depends on what country you live in and if that watermelon contains the components necessary to increase your testosterone. Will you get an increase in blood flow and potentially sexual function? Maybe, yes. Which is a good benefit for summer because a lot of people are more horny in the summer. And then also, is it going to enhance your exercise performance? Probably not. It's better to stack your watermelon with citrulline malate for better results. All right, guys, so if you want to maximize your testosterone, have a free ebook on that. Link is in the description below. And I hope you learned something new, and I will check you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Oh, my God.